Howdy audio friends, Mr. Eric here. Welcome back to the channel. Got a excellent video for you today with two excellent headphones from one of my favorite manufacturers, ZMF. Okay, so here's the here's the backstory on this. I traded a while back for a set of OG Otours here. So you can see this is my set right here. Um, and then I was kind of talking with Zach from ZMF about you know, headphones to try out and stuff like that to do reviews for. And he suggested a couple of things. He suggested I send in these guys just to make sure that everything's looking good on them and they haven't been tampered with in some weird way or something like that. Um, and then he set me up with a new set of pads so I could I could have a new set of pads on them. So I got the OK on my Otour. And then he suggested that uh, he go ahead and send the new Otour Classic back with them and then I can do a, a little comparison which I thought would be quite awesome because if I'm being totally honest I just love 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 these auteurs uh, the OG ones and I did a little just quick impressions video before I sent them off just because um, I wanted to kind of capture that before the comparison okay so what I've got today is I've got my these old O-Tours, and then I've got a new Marblewood O-Tour Classic. Now, Zach, when he sent this, I'm just going to show you all the stuff it came with. You saw the hard case. It's it's basically the same. The logo is a little different on it. Um, cables are a little bit different. These guys are cloth cables. It came with an XLR and a uh, quarter inch cable. And then he also sent it with the O-Tour pads, which are on it. And then uh, a set of suede O-Tour pads and then a set of Lambskin Universe pads. Uh, so so those came with it. Um, and then this is just the cable bag that, that was in the box there uh, that came with it. Okay. So I've got O-Tour uh, Lambskin pads on both of these right now. And I thought those were the best um, for each of these or, or most of my preference, right? A lot of this is a preference thing. Okay. So let me just recap real quick what my thoughts were on the original O-Tour and then we'll jump in and we'll do comparison with uh, with the new one. You can see uh, largely the build is is not changed a whole lot. This one does have the new style like headband. I can't remember exactly what's different about it, but there's there's something. They made a switch a little while back with that guy. Although uh, honestly, it's very, very similar. It's something with the strap I think is different. Um, again, this guy's marble wood. It's got kind of like a cool kind of like vintage bronze uh, hardware on there, which I think looks looks really nice. I, I prefer I, I really prefer the look of the new one over mine. But uh, again, you know, that's going to be preference and that's going to come down to like what your choices for materials are and things like that. The build is uh, solid, right? It's it's a ZMF. They're both beautiful builds. Um, wonderful, right? I love I love ZMF builds. So my uh, OG O-Tours, these guys are just such a fun and easy to listen to headphone while still being like really, really resolving and detailed. I feel like they're just warm and thick and kind of gooey and with, but, but still being clear, right? Like it, it's just, there's, there's such a, a weight and a warmth to the low end and the the middle frequencies that I just I love it um, it just feels so good and natural like a really natural timbre to these guys that I just I really appreciate just rich like a really rich sound to them but still they've got the top end detail like the resolution and detail is there but it doesn't really uh, come to the forefront or intrude I don't feel like these are the most accurate uh, like linear headphone in the world and imaging as well I don't feel like is like it's not like a laser focus but it's still there's a good sense of space to it it feels like a natural sound stage and honestly they're just so fun and enjoyable that I don't really even though they they are a reasonably decent technical headphone I just don't worry about that stuff that much while I'm listening to it I just kind of kick back and uh and enjoy and I've loved these things off of um I, of course, I had my my really nice Quicksilver amp uh, that I like these guys with. I've got a Fio BTR7 here that I've been listening to a lot just so I can move around the house, and that works well with these. i got a Fio K7 over here, uh, Matrix Mini I. All that stuff sounds wonderful um, with, with both of these headphones, just to be clear. So love my, love my classics, or excuse me, love my originals, right? Love my originals here. The classics, 
it's a little confusing to say original and classic because they both kind of mean the same thing in my head. But anyway, the classics are the new version, right? And uh, what Zach said is that they've used kind of newer tuning technologies in, in these guys. And they're similar, you know, as they've progressed as a company in, in their tuning, uh, they have new dampening methods and things like that um, that have gone into these new ones. It's a little bit different from, from the original models here, okay? So when I compared this, I would say on a detail level, they're fairly similar. Maybe the classic edges it out a little bit, but it might be more of a tuning thing as opposed to a driver capability thing. Um, I find the classics to be more linear than the OGs. Like I, I feel like the frequency response is very balanced. I feel like the treble's a little more present on the classics. I feel like uh, the bass is, is a little bit more under control and that the mids aren't quite as, as forward. It's not such a mid-centric uh, presentation as on the OGs. Now, all that being said, I kind of like the, the OGs better, personally. I just feel like they're a little bit more interesting, a little more engaging to me, where these guys are just like a really solid, neutral headphone, I would say. Still a little warm tilting, right? But not not in the same kind of interesting, uh, rich way that the OGs are. So it's a, it's a little bit different in that I feel like the soundstage, while it's smaller on the classic, it's more precise. But then at the same time, I feel like the vocals are pulled back a little bit more, so it doesn't sound quite as intimate in the vocal ranges as the uh, OG does. Um, so um, very, I, I love them both if I'm being perfectly honest, but again, I feel like my preference kind of leans more towards the richer, more vocal centric uh, OG as opposed to the more linear, perhaps more balanced classic here. Uh, let me talk about pad swapping here real fast on the uh, classics. Since you know Zach sent them to me, I definitely gave them a try. Again, I said my my preference is for kind of the lambskin O'Tour pads. Once I swapped in the suede pads, I thought that brought out a little more sizzle um, in it. So if you feel like you you know if you want a little more bite to your top end and stuff, I feel like the suede pads brought that. That was the main noticeable difference that I found. Also, maybe a little bit more space in it at that point in time as well. Uh, when I tried the universe pads, I thought they uh, kind of the opposite is they like doled it a little bit to where uh, it wasn't as as sparkly or and didn't have as much sizzle as even the lambskin O'Tour pads. Um, at the same time, I felt like it brought the bass levels down a little bit too, and I just thought it kind of like blunted the headphone in my opinion. So I didn't I didn't really like the universe pads on them. I mean, it still sounded good. It just didn't have the same kind of like engagement as I did with the O'Tour pads. So so my personal preference is for the stock O'Tour pads. Um, well, I think, you know, and rather than beat this one to death, I think I'm just going to kind of end it there. I feel like if if you're, you don't mind buying used headphones and, um, you know, you, you spend some time on the used market, I think you can find a pretty good deal on these OG O-Tours. You know, I see them around a thousand bucks pretty regularly. And I feel like they are just a, again, a rich, thick, warm vocal intimacy, just fun, engaging headphone that I just, I love them. Honestly, I really do. And, uh, you know, uh, on the same token of that, if you're looking for something that's that's a little more neutral, a little more balanced, a little more linear, but you still want a little little warmth and richness to it, that's that's where the OG or <laughs> that's where the classic comes in. And uh, again, I think it's also a wonderful headphone. So I think different strokes for different folks here. I think a lot of people will like the new classic. Me personally, I'm kind of I think I'm going to stick with the OG here. I think I'm going to stick with it the way it is. Um I should also mention too that if you have an OG and you feel like you'd like the classic sound better, you can go through an upgrade process uh through ZMF. So you could inquire uh through them uh, about that if you wanted to go that route. But uh as for me, I think I'm going to stick with the OG. So, 
Uh, that's going to wrap up this video. Thanks to Zach for sending out the new classics for review and also for just, you know, checking out my OGs to make sure they're good to go in, in that regard. And uh, as always, I, I enjoy working with him. And as always, I, I thank you for watching. If you have uh, experience with, with these two different models of headphones, definitely feel free to drop your opinions down below. I'm always happy to hear those. And with that being said, um, I hope I get to try some more ZMFs in the future, and uh, hopefully I'll see you there. So thanks. Have a good one.